everybody, it's Lori from the Art Studio at Madison Children's Museum. I'm going to show you a fun project called Decoupage that you can do at home. This is an example of a three-dimensional paper mache rhinoceros that is covered with these different papers. The technique of decoupage comes from a French word that means to cut out. And we're going to be using a product called Mod Podge which is sort of like a thick glue that can be used to cover just about anything with different papers. This is a project that you can do with tissue paper. I have colored tissue paper. And then also it's a project that you can do with some of these wonderful jelly printed papers that we made. So let's get started. Let me show you what you need. So today I'm gonna to be decoupaging this little star that's made of paper mache. And I'm gonna get ready by putting some of my Mod Podge in this dish, this little cup. There we go. You just wanna put out about as much as you're gonna use at one time so that you're not going to waste it. So then I'm gonna choose what type of materials I want to add to my star. I'm gonna cover part of it with this blue tissue paper. So I'm gonna use my fingers to tear little pieces of paper. This procedure works a lot better if you tear your paper and if you, so instead of cutting the edges. If you have sharp edges, sometimes they don't like to stick down. So then I'm going to use my brush and I'm going to apply a little bit of my Mod Podge to my paper mache. And beware, you're going to get your fingers a little bit sticky with this project, but it's going to be worth it because you'll have a nice smooth finish. So then I'm going to stick down my bit of paper and you can see I have some overhanging here so you always want to put some Mod Podge underneath where your paper goes and then I'm going to use my wet brush to smooth completely over. Now right now it's got all these white streaks on it from where the Mod Podge is covering the paper but when it dries it's going to be perfectly clear and shiny. So I'm going to put a few layers of tissue paper on my star and then I'm going to show you how we can use our jelly print paper to also do decoupage projects. And again I'm going to use my fingers to tear my tissue paper into small pieces so that it will be very nice and smooth when I apply it to my paper mache. So you want to apply your Mod Podge uh, in a thin layer and not get too many blobs sticking out because those blobs are just going to uh, make it hard for the paper to stick down. See when you go over it how nice and smooth it is? So let me do this one section with my blue and then I'm going to switch to my uh, slightly thicker paper. Tissue paper is really perfect for doing decoupage with. It's so thin that it slicks down really, really well. When you use a thicker paper, like let's use a piece of our jelly printed paper, I'm also gonna tear it. And the torn edges also give you a nice effect. So I'm gonna tear a piece that I can add to my star. Now, my trick for using the thicker paper I'm gonna spray it with a little bit of water. You could also use a sponge. And I'm gonna get my paper a little bit damp. And when it's damp, it's gonna be able to bend and take the contours. The contours are like the shapes of your project. So now that my paper is wetted down a bit, I'm gonna do the same process that I did with my tissue paper so that I can apply my jelly print paper. Now, if you like to do paper mache, if you make masks or other objects out of paper mache, you can use uh, Mod Podge to put a final layer on your project. And you see, I'm just using my fingers to stick it down so it slicks down really well. And then I can go over with another layer. So, oh, I really like how this looks. So I'm gonna try one of my other papers. Let me find something that I like. And again, I'm tearing it. Those rough edges will really help your paper stick down to an object that isn't flat. I'm gonna give it a little bit of water and then sort of, I'm gonna rub my water into it a little bit. 
and crunch it up to make sure that the paper is getting nice and soft because you want it to go over all those little angles on your project. And see, I'm slicking it down with my fingers. If I have a little area here that isn't slicking down, I can put a bit of Mod Podge under it. And when you're done covering your object, you're gonna wanna put a final Mod Podge layer on the top, and that will make everything look really shiny and smooth. Let's stick down these edges. Let me get a little more tissue paper. So I really love how the uh, designs on my jelly print paper are going to show up on my paper mache star. And you can layer designs over and over each other. If you wanna do a solid layer of one color, then you can cut shapes to go over the top. See how I've got a lot of colors going on my project here? I'm gonna use a little bit more, I'm gonna do Maybe this paper. I think I need a little bit more blue. And I tried to cut that into a curvy shape. I'm going to wet it. The wetting of the paper is pretty important if you're trying to cover something that is not flat. It just really helps it be able to go over those curves. So there I'll use my fingers. And stick it down. Oh, you can really see the, the patterns on this piece of uh, paper, the printed patterns that we made. So then I'll fix up just the edges. I think I'm just going to put a little bit more yellow, and then I'll show you how we're going to be finishing this up. So there's my little edges. So now if I'm ready to be finished with my project, I'm going to set it down in a place where it can dry, and I'm going to put a nice thick coat of Mod Podge over the top. And it looks very white now, but when it dries, it's going to be beautiful and shiny. And you might, if you want your project to be really, really shiny, you might want to come back later and put a second coat on top. And you can use this technique to decorate so many different kinds of things. You can use it on pieces of wood or furniture, uh, paper mache ornaments like this. You can come up with all kinds of wonderful projects. Oh, one more thing. If you want to, on my rhinoceros here, I added some sparklies on the top. So if you wanna add things like sequins or sparkles, what you can do is add them right at that last step when you put your Mod Podge layer on the top. I'm just gonna stick a few sequins right into the wet Mod Podge, and then I'm gonna put a little bit of more Mod Podge on top, and it will help seal them on. I'm just gonna do a few, because I think my star, oh, there's a little sequin spider. That's super cool. Come here. There we go. Maybe one more. I'm finding all kinds of weird little sequin shapes in here. It's a tiny teddy bear. All right, so now I will just add a little bit more Mod Podge over the top, and that will make sure that all my sparklies stay down and don't come off. And again, you can come back and add another layer when they're dry. And when you're all done, you'll have a beautiful, one-of-a-kind decoupage covered object. Have a lot of fun with this project.